Milk is nature's wonder food. For about six months of your life, that's the only thing you eat or drink. Most people probably don't like relying on their mom for their milk their entire life. Ew. So we usually switch over to milk made from cows. For about 50% of the world, everything is perfect, and milk is delicious. But for the other 50%, as they grow up, milk starts to cause digestive issues. Lactose is a sugar in milk that cannot be directly absorbed by our bodies. When we were babies, humans make an enzyme called lactase that breaks down the lactose into simple sugars that our body can then intake. As we get older, about half of the world makes much less lactase, or even stop making it altogether. So what does the lactose actually do? In lactose intolerant people, it can cause gas, bloating, nausea, diarrhea, and in general an uncomfortable feeling. In people with lactase production, the lactose will be broken down into simple sugars in the first part of the the small intestine. Our bodies take up the sugar and it's happy. In lactose intolerant people, the lactose will pass through the small intestine into the colon. In the colon, there are bacteria that can break down the lactose. The bacteria ferment it and make tons of gas. The gas causes most of the issues, though the fermentation products and other sugars can cause more fluid into the colon, leading to some pretty nasty poops. Lactose intolerance is largely dependent on our ethnicity. Only about 5% of Northern Europeans are lactose intolerant, with African, Native Americans, and Latino populations being much higher. Eastern Asians top the chart with more than 90% of people being lactose intolerant. As you probably guessed, the production of lactase as an adult is controlled mostly by genetics. A mutation that occurred a few times throughout history is responsible for the persistent lactase production. The mutation was beneficial for most and was spread throughout many populations through natural selection. Lactose intolerance is more of a gradient rather than an on or an off. Some people can get by eating small amounts of dairy, but when drinking an entire glass of milk, they can get sick. Personally, I can drink as much milk as I want with almost no issues, unless it's a gallon of whole milk. So are there any ways to fix your lactose intolerance? Surprisingly, yeah, there are actually a lot of different ways, but none of them are perfect. There are pills that contain lactase for a quick fix, or you could try eating some foods that already contain lactase or lactase-producing bacteria, such as yogurt. Another way is to drink small amounts of milk several times per day to hopefully increase your lactase production. But one of the best and most common ways to combat the intolerance is just by eating foods with no lactose. There are tons of different products that lack lactose. Almond milk, soy milk, lactate are all low in lactose. So now you know why some people's bodies can't handle dairy. And as always, thanks for watching and have a super duper delicious day.